Are you ready to learn something? Okay. Yeah? Because yep. and I'm not an electrical guy, but I'll tell you from the installation point of view. This is really the heart, this is the manager 30. So this is the charging unit, right? The, the job of this box here that you see right now is to take all of the sources of input. So AC charge, 240 volt from your wall, DC charge, 12 volt off your alternator, and solar power inputs and convert them into a charge that runs into your batteries. Now with the Manager 30, the original Manager 30 faceplate, gave you all the information that you need, but it wasn't as intuitive of what they've come up with TVMS. How you used to run this is you'd run this uh, uh, power, all your inputs and outputs through to a shunt, which would measure your power, your current draw and the level of your battery. And then you'd run all your wires off there, which is a very, very time consuming, very tedious job. You need to put in relays, you need to put in fuses, you need to put in switches. The wiring that's involved in that is crazy. So what Red Arc have done is they've simplified the whole thing. Fundamentally what this does here, you can see down here, distribution and fuse box. That's what this is for, and this is, this is the brains of the actual Red Vision unit. So, you have one RJ45 cable that goes from this unit up to the faceplate that you saw installed on Ashton's car. But what this does is all of your fuses are all inbuilt into this TVMS system here, right? So you can see all of your fuse box in there. You've got different um, outputs as well. So these are your max 10 amp loads. So this will do, say, all of your lights, for example, your smaller lights, interior lights, and all the rest of it. Then you've got 30 amp fuses, which can control uh, bigger gear. You can see here, this is from a Patriot camper. So you can see all the, all the inputs that we have here are outputs, accessories, stereo, water pump, fridge, air compressor, uh, right lights, main lights, so on and so forth. So, so that's all labeled. So basically everything that we wire into the FJ now, the whole wiring harness goes straight into this box here. One cable goes up to the head unit, soft buttons, you can turn everything on and off. The other advantage is that you can program that unit. So you can put different icons for different things. So you can put a little piston in for your air compressor. You can put a little light thing in for your left light, right light. Yep. It will control a water tank. When you end up putting a water uh, tank in here, you can put a sender straight into the water tank. His air lockers are gonna be controlled through here. So you can actually switch your air compressor on, then put your front lockers, rear lockers, and it's gonna keep that FJ-looking 